Hi, I'm Jill from the DIY and home decor blog timeonourhands.com. Thanks for watching this video. Today I'm going to show you how I gave my old bed frame a modern makeover by removing the curvy lines, adding new clean straight lines, and spray painting it modern black. And don't forget you can find all the details and sources at our blog which is linked in the description box below. Let's get started. I found this modern dark metal canopy bed online that I like, so I used it as inspiration to make over my old bed. In case you're wondering, this is the McGee and Company Sutherland Canopy Bed. This is my old bed frame. In order to make it look more modern, I plan on removing the curvy decorations, adding some new clean straight lines, and spray painting it black. The first thing I did to make my bed frame look more modern was remove any parts that had curvy lines. The decorative balls on the tops of the posters, the headboard, and the decorative feet. The decorative balls slid right off the post, but they left a hole at the top of the hollow metal tube. So I started thinking about how I was going to cover the hole to make it look more finished. After my husband helped me cut the metal decorative feet off the bed frame, I noticed that they had plastic hole plugs. So I just ordered some additional plastic hole plugs from Amazon, and then I filled the top and the bottom of the bed posts with those to give it a more finished look. To impart more modern, clean, straight lines to the bed frame, I added a wooden dowel to the top of the headboard and the footboard posts to join them. First, I cut the ends of the dowel so they would be curved to fit around the round bed posts. You could probably skip this step and just use the dowels cut straight, but I wanted to try to make the wooden dowels look like they formed around the round bed posts. I used a one inch hole saw bit and use some scrap wood, wood and clamps to hold it in place. And then I measured the space in between the two headboard posts and cut the other end the same way. Next, I drilled a hole through the outside of the bed post where I wanted to attach the wooden dowel and continued through the hollow metal tube to the other side of it. Then I made the hole on the outside larger so I could fit a screwdriver through it to attach the wooden dowel to the bed post with a screw. I drilled a pilot hole in the wooden dowel before I attached it to the metal bed frame to pe help prevent splitting of the wood. My old metal bed frame was painted brown faux wood, so I gave it a more modern look and spray painted it black. I sanded the whole bed frame with 120 grit sandpaper to help the spray paint stick better, and then I dusted it with a damp cloth. First, I primed the wooden dowels with black primer spray paint, and then I spray painted several thin coats of Rust-Oleum Matte Farmhouse Black spray paint on the back and front of the bed frame. I was worried that the spray painted wooden dowels wouldn't look the same as the metal, but they ended up looking great when I was done. Once I had the bed frame painted, I brought it back inside and assembled it. To make the headboard part of the bed frame look more modern, I added more straight clean lines. First, I made a rectangular headboard by cutting a piece of plywood to the correct dimensions. Next, I attached 3 inch foam to the plywood using Loctite Professional Spray Adhesive. And then I covered it with a linen look fabric which I secured with staples on the back. After that, I attached the headboard to the bed frame. 
I had to remove the dowel that I had connecting the two headboard posts at this point and recut it so that it fit correctly because it did not fit correctly after I got the headboard back on there. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give us a like. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. As always, all the details and sources for this project can be found at our blog linked in the description box below. If you like modern decor, check out this next video where I build my own modern replacement kitchen cabinet doors. Have a great day! See you next time.